You might be dreaming about IISC Bangalore, but what if I tell you that you might not even be eligible for it? Listen closely, students choose NIOS, yet thousands of them still lose their seats in top colleges, not because of low marks, but because they selected the wrong stream, added the wrong subjects, or misunderstood one simple yet critical rule. This video exists so that you don't repeat their mistakes. You might be wondering why some NIOS students get into IITs or IZERTs while others face instant rejection. What the single subject trap actually is that destroys the ISC Bangalore dreams, which registration mistakes cannot be fixed later, and what colleges truly check behind the scenes, and who should or who should not choose NIOS in 2026 in the upcoming year. So stay tuned till the end because one single detail can change the entire course of your academic future. And since we are talking about ISC Bangalore, it becomes very important to mention if you are preparing for IIT, NEST, JE or NEET and dreams of getting into ISC Bangalore, IIT Madras, IIT Guwahati and seven IZERTs across the country, check out the description because it has wonderful resources out there for you by Syastra. And why Syastra? Because we have been doing it for more than five years now and we have trained more than 5 lakh students across the world get into top universities. More than 30% of students at all IZERTs are from Syastra. More than 20 students this year joined ISC Bangalore, of course, out of 60 seats, which is immense. More than 50% of Nizerites this year are from Syastra. So if you dream of any such colleges, you know what to look for. Now, coming back to the NIOS point, we know that students are confused, parents are unsure, and WhatsApp groups are full of half-truths that make everything even more complicated. So this leads to doubts like, is NIOS even valid? Will IIT or NEET really accept it? Can I get into ISC Bangalore with just one subject? And is this the right choice to make? These questions create fear and that fear creates mistakes. Mistakes that cost students an entire year. So let's clear the air once and for all because most students never hear the full truth until it's too late. Many of them register under Stream 4 believing they will receive a new class 12 certificate, when in reality, Stream 4 actually only provides a mark sheet for the subjects you add. Now, others only add mathematics through NIOS, hoping to qualify for ISC Bangalore. Big mistake. Not knowing that ISC requires a complete PCM combination from one single recognized class 12 certificate. So this becomes even more important. And this single subject approach leads to 99% rejection from colleges. Another common issue in choosing the wrong set of subjects, which by default eliminates the eligibility for JE or NEET, because these exams require specific combination of PCM or PCB. And then there's the biggest frustration of all, missing the registration deadline and losing an entire year simply because of misinformation or delay. Now, these mistakes are very real and they happen every single year, but they do not need to happen to you. Now, let's understand the official validity of NIOS. To start with clarity, NIOS is an autonomous board under the Ministry of Education, Government of India, which means its class 12 certificate is fully equivalent to CBSC or ICSC or any other educational board. Competitive examination and government jobs. Now, students with the right subjects are eligible for J mains, advanced, NEET, CVT, ISER, or for other universities. Basically, almost every major academic or professional pathway. The key phrase here is with the right subjects because your eligibility depends entirely on your subject combination, not the board. And to make things even clearer, imagine applying to you know, NEET with commerce subjects. Funny, uh, I know, but many students unknowingly do similar mistakes with NIOS. That's exactly why clarity matters. Many students choose NIOS because of the flexibility it offers. It allows them to study at their own pace, especially those preparing for JE or NEET through coaching institutes. Now, students can choose the subjects they actually need and the on-demand examination system, which is ODES, lets them appear for exam whenever they feel prepared instead of waiting for fixed cycles. Now, for students who want proper focus and control over their schedule, NIOS becomes a powerful alternative that traditional boards simply cannot match. This is the power of NIOS that most students miss. Many of them aiming for ISC Bangalore, 
panic after class 12th because of low percentage. Maybe they don't have maths at all. If they have, the score is very low or a wrong subject choice, right? So NIUS is your opportunity for an academic restart. Basically, it's your second chance, okay? You might not get anywhere else, but here you do without repeating school. Consider the example of a student with an original CBSE score of 61% with PCM. Now, their dream institution requires, let's say, 75% plus. Now, NIUS plan actually involves transferring their physics and chemistry credits, then reappearing for maths, English, and one optional subject through NIUS. So basically, you have five. You can transfer these two, P and C. Now you have to take three from here through NIUS. Now this allows you to boost your percentage to, let's say, 78 or even 80% plus, which actually strengthens your profile, makes you eligible for all the colleges across India for degrees, right? Uh, also improves your scholarship prospects, ensuring you meet all admission criteria. Now, this actually demonstrates how NIOS allows you for subject correction, improvement, and eligibility restoration. So basically, to get into IISC, you need PCM. If you missed maths earlier, NIOS is your comeback strategy. I hope this is now clear. If you have any doubts so far, let me know in the comments. Now, your entire eligibility for JE, NEET, IAT, or let's say ISC Bangalore, IZERTS I'm talking about, depend on choosing the right stream of subjects, which is why you must pay close attention here. Stream 1 is designed for fresh learners who want a full class 12 certificate. You select at least five subjects, choose let's say PCM or PCB if needed, and get a brand new senior secondary certificate that is accepted almost everywhere. If you are preparing for IAT, NEST, JE, NEET, stream 1 is the correct and safe path. Okay, you can be in class 11th and 12th. Stream 4, on the other hand, is only for students who have already passed class 12th from another board and simply want to add or improve 1 to 4 subjects. Now, this stream gives only a mark sheet, not a full certificate. Now, this is where most confusing things happen and most streams end. So one of the biggest and most damaging mistakes students make is registering for only mathematics under stream 4, thinking this will make them eligible for ISC Bangalore. Not true. I repeat, this is not true because ISC clearly states that students must have physics, chemistry and mathematics as core subjects in a single complete class 12 student certificate. And this is true for almost all major educational institutions. You have to have a single class 12 certificate with at least three subject combination and a single NIOS subject mark sheet cannot fulfill this requirement. This is the number one reason students lose their chance to even apply and by the time they realize this fact, it is usually too late to fix. Now, all NIOS registrations are handled through the official site, which is uh, stmis.nios.ac.in. The process is very simple. Choose the correct stream, select the right subjects, PCM or PCB, upload your documents, pay the fees, and save your enrollment number. Now, if you're thinking NIOS is completely valid, widely accepted, and a great option for students who need flexibility, time to prepare for competitive examinations or a fresh start or just improvement. In fact, many of you have been asking to us in comments, chats, everywhere. So that's why we decided to make this video for you to use. Now, it is absolutely safe as long as you choose your subjects correctly. But if your goal is to reach ISC, IITs, IZERTs or top universities, never depend on a single subject mark sheet. Always choose the full PCM or PCB combination because your entire eligibility for admission depend on the single decision. This was your complete, simplified and clear NIOS 2026 guide. Now that you understand the streams, subjects, risk and the right approach, your next step becomes even more crucial. To learn how colleges actually verify eligibility and which common mistakes students must avoid, watch the next video. Now that you understand the streams, subjects, risk and the right approach, your next step becomes even more crucial. Now we need to think beyond class 12 since you are appearing for NIUS and improving your chances of getting into colleges. Now watch this video on CUET that gives you admission in more than 240 universities across India for more than 3 lakh seats in various subject combinations. If you have any doubts, queries, questions, let us know in the comments below. Hide this video so that it reaches more and more people who need NIOS. People are not aware about it and they misunderstand this. Subscribe to Science for English for more such content. 
See you in the next video. All the best.